This is going to be a gratitude tarot and oracle reading if it's meant for you. It's meant for you. The reason why I'm calling this a gratitude reading is because in Canada, this is Thanksgiving weekend. And I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my online family and friends. You have been absolutely incredible. And to any of you who are new to my channel, um, I have the best online family ever. Um, I would definitely debate that with anybody because we have the kindest, most gentlest people who genuinely care about each other. So thank you so much for being a part of my online family. And I wanted to do this reading just to say thank you. And I appreciate you. So let's take a look at what we need to know for this Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. And obviously you don't have to be Canadian. Um, this is just my way of sharing a tradition from where I live. Now let's see what is the current energy right now. We have the Palace of Wands. Well, this is definitely meant for my collective because we certainly like rods of fire, wands, whatever you want to call them. In this deck, it's actually a very special card because it is not a traditional tarot card. This would be the ultimate living conditions or quarters of the wands suit. And for any of you who don't know this deck, I call this my BFD, my big French deck. This was a, a beautiful deck that I bought while I was in Europe. And I picked this today because the colors are so fall-like and so beautiful. So interesting enough, we got the Palace of Wands. How beautiful. Okay, so let's take a look at the surrounding energies here of this Thanksgiving weekend in Canada as I extend this to all of you around the world. And we have the ah, Four of Cups. Here's the thing. Be careful right now that you're not missing out on any opportunities. I have a feeling some of you may be in deep thought, okay? And you might be thinking, what's next? What do I do? How do I handle this? You don't have to worry about all of that. All you have to do is just be. Be in gratitude you know, enjoy yourself, do some self-care and self-love. And let's see what else we need to know here. We have the, oh my goodness. Well, this is definitely um, a Kelly Lorraine type of reading. Uh, trust the process. This is the uh, Knight of Pentacles or the Knight of Coins. Wow, this is definitely for my collective. Um, you know, if you were seeing my face in the other videos, my eyes would be rolling with, with, with love and laughter because, I mean, listen, what else can we do but trust the process? You know, it's a hard lesson I've had to learn and I share that with all of you every day that, you know, we really don't have a choice but to let things unfold naturally. So let's see what else we need to know here. Yeah, nine of swords, stop worrying. This is worry and anxiety. It does absolutely nothing for you, okay? And, you know, I would ask the question, what are you so worried about? And oftentimes I ask people, you know, is it that we're just so conditioned to be in worry? You know, that, that sense of like, what am I going to worry about when I have nothing to worry about? We have to break that cycle because worrying does nothing for the situation. And, well, now we have the Queen of Wands. So I love that. We have confidence, strutting our stuff, believing in ourselves. So I definitely love the fact here that right next to the Palace of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands. And here we have, wow, Four of Wands. My goodness. Four of Wands is 1111 spiritual ascension. It is commitment. It is stability. It's a twin flame number. It's beautiful. It really signifies brand new beginnings. And I'm just absolutely in awe that these are the cards that are at the center of this reading. Okay, let's see what else do we need to know here. Well, we have the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is a brand new emotional beginning. And this indicates filling your own cup. I love that. How else do you get two cups? Unless you fill one cup. So this is telling me that um, you know your self-care and self-love should be at the forefront right now being thankful and having the gratitude for who you are, how far you've come, you know, celebrate yourself. And with that, we have, interesting, we have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is don't hold yourself back. This is all or nothing, extremes of giving your time, love, or money. Don't withhold, okay? Now, I find this really interesting because um, we have the four of wands, we have the four of pentacles, 44 is angels are with you, 
right? You are divinely guided. And we also have the four of cups. So four, 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 very strong four energy. So if you've been seeing the angel number four, 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 just know that you're divinely guided. And fours, like I said, are all about stability. I think that's what we're all striving for, right? Is that sense of stability. And here's the three of cups. Three of cups is a card of celebration. So you can look at this in two ways celebration, enjoying life, having a good time, going to an event or a party, and that's great. The only other thing is that sometimes when I see the Three of Cups, I think of the idea, two's company, three's a crowd. And if there is any interference in your daily life, that's sort of poking in and you're, you're feeling uncomfortable or you're tired of it, you've got to make some moves. You've got to make some moves to release that interference. Now, let's get some Oracle cards here just to see what we need to know. Oops, as I moved my... <laughs> my cards here pardon me okay so maybe that's a sign that maybe there's a feeling of instability and that we need to get that stability right i've got kitty in the background confirming he's been doing some kitty parkour during my filming today um so always added extra bonus content for my collective now let's take a look at the center here that palace of wands yeah spring into action enjoy life new beginnings, fresh excitement, rejuvenate, set goals, intentions, a surprise, increasing, coming alive, growth, fertile, new cycle. I love it. Be open to it. Now let's go back to this four of cups of why you're overanalyzing and missing potential offers. Yeah, because you feel restricted. The devil card is codependency, restrictions, addictions. Um, now this card can also be the king of earth, which is lovely because the king of earth is someone who's slow and steady and abundant in the long run. It's just that, you know, it takes a while to get there and you've got to trust the process. Hence, knight of pentacles over here. Ah, well, what flipped over? Challenge the status quo longevity oh let me tell you trusting the process <laughs> you need patience and you need longevity but i just want to remind you about patience okay i think there's a lot of confusion at times about patience now i have a very different definition of patience and on live recently we even looked it up in the oxford dictionary and i i want to i want to defend my thesis over here about my definition of patience you know whenever i hear patiently waiting I look at that and I say that's a contradiction because waiting is like demanding to know when, how, where, why, you know, all the details. Waiting just brings more waiting, okay? Patience, trusting the process means go live your life, go do what you got to go do, let things come to you. That doesn't mean you can't have hope and that doesn't mean that you can't um, strive towards your goals. But you can't stop your life. Time is something you never, ever, ever get back. And so the nine of swords here, stop worrying about the transformation. It's almost like you're worried about what's next. It's funny, I said it. It's like, what am I going to worry about when I have nothing to worry about? And you can't worry about that. No pun intended. It doesn't help. Okay. This card also says evolution of the soul. And that's super important to know that you are growing and that you are taking things methodically and step by step. And you should reward yourself for that. Have the gratitude for that. Be thankful for the trials and tribulations that have come your way. And I'm not dismissing what you've been through. I'm sorry for those of you that have been through, you know, traumas, triggers, and hurts. I don't wish that on anybody. But I will say this, your resiliency and stamina and courage to be open and do new things is absolutely admirable. And I respect it a lot when someone gets up and goes. You know, I always say, if I gotta make it or break it, I'm always gonna make it. And so let's go back here to this Queen of Wands and this level of confidence. Now, two cards came out. You know, this is the Hermit card, Virgo energy, that says, I'm gonna think this through in the sense that I'm gonna search my soul. What do I want, okay? And when you know what you want, and you figure that out, you've searched your soul, all of a sudden you start getting insights. You start seeing things differently. Now Virgos are very observant. I am certainly observant. I will watch body language. I will hear words um, because I want to make sure that I'm taking it all in correctly. And I think once I start to open my eyes, you know, and, and, and feel my heart, my intuition, I see things that I never saw before. And this says, explore the unknown. And you will know what's going on. If you really want to know, you'll know. 
You'll get the messages. You'll get the visions, whatever that is for you. But you have to be willing to be open. And I think a lot of people think they're open, but they struggle with that. So let's go to that four of wands here. Yeah, stars, wishes coming true, blessings. It even says falling in love. And if you look at this picture here, you see this beautiful family at this altar, so to speak, with this rainbow, double rainbow. You know, something serendipitous. How beautiful. It also says blessed. We are blessed. So let's see. This Ace of Cups, brand new beginning. You know what? This is interesting because the park or the garden card is about something becoming publicly known. And when I see someone giving themselves self-love or care and an investment in themselves, I see that, um, you know, we're not worrying about what other people think. We don't mind being in a public space and people seeing who we authentically are. You know, I was telling this story the other day on live where we were discussing how I got into tarot or what was sort of my spiritual ascension like. And I remember a time in my life where I used to hide my tarot cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was always very spiritual my entire life, very intuitive. I could read things super easily. That's why I was a, su a successful teacher in the classroom because I could read the scenarios so, so well. You know, I knew the story of the student before they even told me. And that helps me be, be more empathetic and caring and help guide them. And, you know, I remember when I first got my, my tarot decks and oracle decks, if people came over, I hid them, <laughs> you know. And now I laugh at myself because my cards are everywhere. And if somebody didn't like me because of my cards, well, then, you know, that says more about them than it does about me. So I want you to recognize who you are and celebrate that and be thankful for everything you've been through. I always say my ascension or my reawakening, as I call it, was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really, I would never go back ever to my old life. This has been the most rewarding time in my life and I know that it's only gonna get better and better and better. And why? Because I keep getting better and better and better. So, you know, that's why with that four of coins right here about holding back, we can't hold back. Why would we do that to ourselves? This is interesting because the magician is about manifestation and communication. Um, you know, oftentimes we forget that what we say, think, do, and feel manifests. I want to remind you, you've been manifesting 100% of your days, your entire life. So be conscious of what you say, especially to yourself. If you're very critical of yourself, you're just gonna manifest more of it. And I talk about this all the time. If you say, I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused, well, guess what? You're gonna get more confusion. If you say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, well, well, I guess you don't know and you're gonna to continue not to know. If you tell yourself stories that this can't work out or we can't be together for this reasons or nobody would ever accept this or my goodness, you know, like why are we telling ourselves that? So be very careful with how you communicate. And that Three of Cups, we talked about celebration or interference. Ah, celebration. Everybody's favorite card. This really is a reading for my collective. I'm really curious to all my, my online family members here, how many you can name in this reading alone. Um, in the comments, let me know. It's a, kind of a fun game. Um, this says passion, chemistry, lust, happiness, excitement, holiday, celebration, kissing, exhilaration, explosive, hot, Fill in the blank if you know. If you know, you know the word. I'd be curious to see it in the comments. Um, the way that it's written on the card, <clears throat> I'll let you see that. Um, we have a word in my online family that replaces the last words on the card. So, I mean, this is about celebration, and I love it, okay? And that's what we're intended to do, is celebrate life, okay? So let me take a couple cards of guidance here moving forward, and let's see. Okay, time to go. Time to leave the past behind. The past is in the past, okay? So remember, your new life is going to cost you your old life. And let's take a Moonology card here to see what else we need to know. Mm, be bold and make the first move. If there's something you wanna do, do it. If it's that you wanna leave something, leave it. If you want to start something new, a business, a project, if you want to open yourself up to love, do it. What's holding you back? If you're not going to do it today, when are you going to do it? And let's look at a power of surrender card. What do we need to surrender or surrender to? And we have, oh, I love it. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break. Spend time in nature. 
replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there give thanks to mother earth go out in nature feel more grounded appreciate the people around you make boundaries if people don't serve you you know if it's not good for your energy then don't engage in it why go around and around and around okay it makes no sense so i really hope this resonates with you thank you again for your kindness and support i love you all so much i have so much gratitude that you allow me to do what I do on the daily basis. It means so much to me and it has changed my world immensely. So on this Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, I give thanks to all of you. Have a wonderful weekend.